Miss Transformers 96 here with another review. This time, Transformers Dark of the Moon uh, Voyager Megatron. So, here we go. So, this is my second attempt at making a, um, a review for this guy because um, I made the first one, everything was perfect. I went to upload it and it just wouldn't upload. So, then the next day, I tried and it just wouldn't upload. And for some reason, I could not get the video to upload. Um, I don't know why the like the numbers, the time of how long the video was on my camera, it was like all screwed up. So, I don't know what happened there but now I'm um, I have them again so now I'm gonna reshoot the video so here you go so here's his box I actually keep all the instructions in his box so that's why I see the instructions there so there you go Megatron Decepticon on the back here good picture of Megatron his mech tech weapon and his vehicle the Mac truck um, truck mode so it's a Mac truck um, so yes yeah, so very cool and now we have the uh, the figure out here. This is a cool mode. I really like this mode. Um, it's it's nice. It's a uh, it's I don't know. It, it, it's a strange kind of a car. I guess it's an oil tanker or something like that. But it looks really cool. It uh it looks very tough. You know he's got the, um the whole uh you know like cloth hanging down the sides but like the nails at the front it looks like a tough truck um and this is the first time that he is a regular like thing before he was you know the Cybertronian jet and then with the next movie he was the Cybertronian um tank slash jet so now we're finally getting something real from Megatron which is kind of nice and cool so there you go so um so it's very nice it's uh it's pretty long um but considering that it's supposed to be an oil tanker it's not size accurate with any deluxes. Um, I have a couple in uh, uh, um, car mode because I'm going to review them. But uh, So yeah, so here he is with Thundercracker. So as you can see with a jet. And then I also have the Wreckers in their car mode. Here's the Wrecker. Obviously this one's bigger, but for an oil tanker it should be massive compared to a race car. And lastly I have the Top Spin, the last Wrecker in his um robot mode. So there you go. So there's a comparison of um um you know the other cars. Uh, he's got a mech tech port up here and he's got two on his arms. Um so he's got like one on each arm I mean. So you can put them at the bottom of uh, the side of his thing or you can just put it on top. This does not come with him. This comes with a uh, Roadbuster but I just I have this one out here so yeah you can use this or you can actually use his mech tech weapon, which is a part of his car. So you really can't use it when you have him in car mode, because then it looks weird there. His mech tech weapon is when you push this in. Uh, well, I'm trying to find a good place to grab it. When you push this in, these claws like um, spring out. I really don't like his mech tech weapon. I think it looks really weird. I mean, it's fine in this mode because you just put it in there, but like this it's a weird look I really don't like it uh, if you wanted to though you can um, there you go and lock it out Ooh. and lock it by twisting the uh, the ladder so then it's in uh, the crane mode or claw mode um, but yeah, but I do like the oil tanker. It does like rotate here, except I can never get mine to do it. Um, I don't know what's with mine, but it just it doesn't like work. It doesn't like rotate in mine. So yeah, so that's a little strange. So anyway, uh, transformation is quite simple. Really, just take the the cloth off, take the mech tech weapon off, and um, then you can get started. So pretty much just uh, just split the wheels there and uh, split oil tanker and then um, move these legs down kind of rotate and rotate them kind of outward and uh, and a little bit down then then these pop off you just put them right here and then you re put this crotch piece on you fold the tires in kind of like this so very cool you um, keep those out for now and uh, rotate this oil tanker thin down right here from this view just rotate it down flip the foot back out Put the foot back out and reattach the wheels. And um, and there is uh, his feet. Just rotate them to the front. There you go. So there he is. If you want a walking truck, you can do that. Don't worry. If you want your walking truck, you can have it. So anyway, um, then take this uh, this rotate it up. 
open the top. Um, you're going to want to unpeg this. And this actually says Mac in there. I forgot to say, so that's kind of cool. But this is one hard peg. Um, I've done it a couple times, so it works now. But before, it is a tough peg. So, yes. But, um, but then just put that kind of a... Split this front here, kind of just put it down, so then you can rotate the arms out, if it'll let you. Just rotate the arms out, shoot. Yeah. There we go. And uh, this is on a ball joint, so this pops out every once in a while. Oh, there. Uh, so, yeah. You just have to pop it back in, which is difficult. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay, good, there we go. So, now that you have it like this, just kind of uh, with the rotate the arms, kind of. They get, st oh jeez, this thing it gets annoying, yes, so just move this up, or like this, so then that'll allow you to rotate the arms forward. And um, if this popped off again for you, you can just pop it back on because it pops off quite frequently and then um so there you go so now fold this down like this kind of fold it down uh, I'll rotate the waist and then fold this down and just try to pop it in there's a couple panels here that have to pop in and it's uh it can be a little difficult but after some practice you can get it down pretty decently there we go. Then just pop it in and then just put the front, kind of angle them up. And when you did that, obviously the head flipped up for you. Uh, just kind of the way it's designed. I don't really think that it is meant to do that, but it just kind of like does it. So uh, so that's kind of neat. And then just um, angle the arms down, flip out the hands, and rotate these in. And then just kind of put them there. Rotate these in, put them there. And there you have Megatron in his robot mode. So very cool. Uh, I was really um, impressed with how this looks. Uh, there's uh, a lot of mixed reviews of he's a great figure, he's a horrible figure, all this kind of stuff. I really am impressed with him. Um, he's pretty tall. Well, you know, for he's more skinny and lengthy than uh, than big and muscle. Um, so that's kind of cool. I love his hands. They're very menacing looking. He's got some great articulation. You can really get him in a lot of just like awesome poses. Just kind of doing whatever, just like this. I don't know. But he's got the, like the best neck joint I've seen in a figure other than laser beak. He's got a fantastic neck joint. It is like on this uh, ball joint that really allows you to look down this far, to go left to right, all this stuff, and then it allows you to look up this much. So that is just awesome. I think it's because of transformation, a little bit because of transformation, but it is just an amazing uh, neck joint. I love his abs. I like this, you know, middle piece. The, um, the whole, the sculpt of him is pretty great. Uh, the way he transforms is pretty nice. Although it's a Voyager, it isn't like that difficult. There's, uh, it's, it might be a little troubling for you the first time, but other than that, it's, it's, it's very simple. Um, so now you can take his, uh, his, I don't know, cloak, if you want to call it that, and you can plug it into this side. Um, there it is. Hold on. Yeah, you can plug it in there and then just have it like hanging off the side so it's kind of like this um which i thought i'd probably display him like this but i don't i don't display him like this what i do is i just take the hood off i put the hood aside and i display him like this so yes yeah, so i do keep some of the cloth on just not his hood because his hood just completely covers his face so that's a shame um he's got like a battle damage face from revenge of the phone I'm sure you guys already know, and he's just a well-sculpted figure. He doesn't have a backpack at all. He's all very compact, which is um a lot different than the Movie 2 Voyager uh, Megatron. So, yes, um, compare him with Movie 2 Megatron. Sorry, I have the dread right in front of the Movie 2, so it's hard to get him out. Here he is. There we go. Oh, uh, so, yes. Here he is with Movie 2. Uh, he is much smaller, and I think Movie 2's got, uh, he's, he's a lot bigger. I like the sculpt in Movie 3. I like his, um, his look, but as a figure from what they were trying to make, I'd say Movie 2 wins it. Um, but it's still a great figure, this, um, Dark of the Moon, uh, 
new Megatron. I think he's really cool. Um, I really hope that we get a leader, uh, but we haven't seen pictures, so I don't know. You can also attach his mech tech weapon. Just pull out this so that he can hold it on his arms. Either side will work, um, but here you go. I'll just put it there. Yeah, I don't think it looks very good. It looks like just a big engine. It doesn't look like a gun, and it just looks really bad, or you can pop it out and have the claw. That even looks worse. So I really, I hate his mech tech weapon. Um, you know, really, it should have just been part of transformation that, uh, he needed it for, but I really don't like his mech tech weapon. But there you go, he's a very cool figure. I really like him. Uh, these chest pieces, they tend to fall down a bit. You just gotta adjust them. Love the arms, great posability, and uh, just a lean, good figure with, um, with no kibble. It's really just all where it needs to be. Really no backpack, so that is awesome. So there you go, so that's my video review of Transformers Dark of the Moon of Voyager um, Megatron. Thanks for watching.